was 1970 in the Vietnamese jungle with heat so thick you could feel it like a blanket wrapped around your body all day. We got caught in a friendly fire napalm air raid. I could still hear the screaming. Smell the flesh of my brothers burning. Mm. I held my best friend in my arms as he screamed. I picked him up close to me. Half his face was blown off. He looked at me and he said, just tell my family I love them. I never got a chance to tell them. I know what you mean. This one time I wanted to fly in the cockpit and they said no. And when I was growing up, my family called me a ginger. What? I guess they've always been obsessed with colour. Who the hell is this guy? That was clearly a dig at Megan as well. What in Sam hell is this? Sounds very hurtful. Wow, yeah, that sounds hard too. Okay. You lost your virginity to an older woman in a field behind a pub, did ya? Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. What's her name then? Doris. Doris? How old was she? Well, she, she never told me, but she did tell me to hold her false teeth while she, uh, you know, went down there. There'll be none of that in my bedroom, Harry. You keep it quick, you keep it clean and no eye contact. Bottom line is I contacted senior sources at the palace and the deal is simply this. You know, <laughs> there's two things behind this story. Let me explain. So very clearly, first and foremost, the two young children really will be too young to appear in anything. You know, it's going to be an overwhelming experience with millions, thousands of people cramming into London. Ah, I hear you say, but what about Prince Louis, Princess Charlotte and Prince George? Well, there is a totally different side to that particular story. This is their hereditary future, unlike the two American side royals, as it were, you know. They've decided to opt out of this particular royal life. Prince Harry decided that for them. Although they want the titles to make sure they can make some monetary value, it's interesting for other people around the world. Just the title Prince and Princess is incredibly uh, interesting, isn't it? But you see, the other three real royal children, dare I say, Prince George, Prince Harry and Princess Charlotte, will always have an historical attachment and a role to play in any forthcoming huge royal event. Now, while Meghan and Harry may wish for their two children to be involved, as we've told you before, and this is one of the things that Meghan would like to see, I can personally understand this. It's a huge royal event, and maybe in years to come, she would like to look back and say her children were there. But it's simply not possible. There's no major role for them to play. They decided to step back, and whatever role or whatever offer they're going to be you know, given will be simply that of celebrities, sidelines, guests within the Abbey. There's going to be no formal role for Prince Harry or Meghan Markle, or indeed the two children. Now, a lot of people want to know, well, why is this? Well, according to another good source, this is truly all down to our next king, after King Charles, King William. He makes a lot of the decisions behind the scenes, working in conjunction with, of course, his father, the king. And he knows the public opinion is very, very bad. That's the bottom line. They cannot risk any deviation or indeed negativity on such an historical day. Uh, Daisy, um, uh, Markle herself has been exposed again as someone loose with the truth. You know, she announced um, that uh, Sarah, Ju Duchess of York, had to teach her how to curtsy when she first met the Queen. Here they are. Harry and I are in the car and he says, OK, well, my, my grandmother's there, so you're going to meet her. Oh, great. I love grand. I loved my grandmother. I used to take care of my grandma. This is great. He goes, right, do you know how to curtsy? What? I said, do you know how to curtsy? And I just thought it was a joke. I learned it very quickly um, right in front of the house. We just practiced and then walked in. And You and Harry practiced. Yeah, and Fergie ran out and she said, are you ready? Do you know how to curtsy? I said, oh my goodness, you guys. What a joke, because not only has video emerged from Markle's thumb as an actress in suits showing she already knew how to curtsy, but Sarah now seems to have denied the story, saying she never really met Markle. Uh, and in fact, that whole thing of, you know, having to practice curtsying on the lawn and all that seems so dumb, because I actually went to Buckingham Palace to meet the Queen with several male and female colleagues, and an inquiry showed us how to do the curtsy and bowing as if we didn't know, and the whole lesson took exactly 10 minutes seconds 10 seconds i mean how could she tell this stuff and get away with it
<laughs> it is pretty extraordinary, isn't it? I, I mean, I think she's just got so used to lying that maybe, in my opinion, she believes the lies she tells. I don't know. But either way, she's just been so consistently uh, loose with the truth. This is just uh, another example of it. And you, you make such a great point um, with, with the, the bowing and the curtsying. Uh, they teach you how to do it. And aside from anything else, it's actually not hard to curtsy. You put a foot behind you, bend and nod your head. Honestly, you'd have to be the most uncoordinated person in the world not to be able to do it. Guys, I can't thank you enough for watching and for being here. It really means the world to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I have lots more videos coming out, so check back lots. If you want to further support the show, I do have merch available. Recollections may vary. Make it make sense. You know all that stuff. Also, we have Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recast, where you can become an executive producer and get a shout out in a video very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>